Hi and welcome to this week's Thrive in 5. This week I want to talk about something that that ends up hitting a lot of people. I, I see it in my own life, I see it in the people that I coach on a regular basis, I see us getting into these traps basically. Uh, and I, I want to talk about being stuck and getting unstuck today. And I think there's a, a profound way of thinking about being stuck and getting unstuck that I want to share with you because it's helped me a lot. And the whole concept of being stuck is really about being caught or fixed. Uh, sometimes it means you're baffled by something, you just don't know what to do. Uh, sometimes it means you feel trapped and you're, you're kind of in that situation. Well, um, when I was a teenager, I had a VW Beetle. It was a 68 red VW Super Beetle. I had graciously been sold it by my grandmother, and that was a delightful car. The only problem was that car wasn't much delight in deep snow that we had in southwestern Ontario. And I would end up being stuck a lot. And I realized this is not a beetle, it's not red, it's green and snow is not green. But the point is that each time I got stuck, something had occurred. And I think when it comes to both getting stuck sometimes in uh, a car, but getting stuck in our lives, often starts with something I'm gonna call a decision. And that decision happens to us so often. And that decision for me sometimes, uh, before I got stuck, was unrelenting optimism. I just believed that anything was possible. So the fact that there was more snow on the road uh, and the, the snow bank or the snow pile was higher than the underbelly of my car meant, me, meant I felt like I could possibly get through this. Uh, there, there were times I got stuck because I just kept doing the same thing that I'd always done before. So despite having unrelenting optimism at one point and I'd see a snowbank again, I'd try and go through it a second time. Well, that unrelenting optimism and failure to learn from my last mistake often got me stuck. You know, as I think about so many other things that, that get us stuck in our lives, I think about sometimes about indifference. We're just not caring about certain things and all of a sudden we find ourselves stuck. Uh, sometimes it's we've looked for a quick fix, a fast way through something, and that quick fix has ended up getting us stuck. But all of these relate back to a decision. So often getting stuck is the result of a decision we've made. Uh, we could have ignored the signs. So you talk to a lot of people who said, Early on in their, in their relationship with somebody, they really knew this was not the right person, and yet they go forward with that, and at a certain point, 10, 15, 20 years into the marriage, they go, well, I knew all along. Uh, but that decision-making process did not uh, happen up front, so, so they chose to ignore some of the signals that were there. Uh, and so a lot of times we get stuck based on a decision we make. Now, why do we continue being stuck? Well, this too is a result of a decision. And some of the decisions we make here are, well, just keep trying harder. I recall many times being stuck in the snow and I figured if I just pushed harder and I pushed and I pushed harder, I'd somehow get out. Uh, sometimes it could be panic. Uh, sometimes when panic sets in, you quit thinking and so you start just you, you keep doing what you've been doing because you're in this sort of panic mode. This panic sets in and you can't get yourself out of it. Um, panic can sometimes lead to the belief that persistence will do the trick. And if you persist at something, somehow you'll magically get yourself unstuck. The problem is it doesn't often happen. One other thing I see sometimes that keeps us stuck is this sense of hopelessness. This sense that there's no possible way out of this situation and so from a personal perspective we can remain stuck because we actually see no way out. Well, the only way you're going to get unstuck though is ultimately in the same way. It's with a decision. And so in terms of decisions that you need to make to get unstuck, the first one I think is just awareness. What is going on here? You can stay pushing the car forever, but unless you back away 20, 30 feet and actually see what's going on, it's actually hard to get unstuck. So the first is awareness, to get yourself some perspective. The second is to actually accept what's going on. 
failure to accept what's going on, the fact that you're stuck means you're going to be oblivious to it or you're gonna remain here, stuck in the situation. And then third, ultimately, is take an action. And sometimes the action you need to take and the decision to make an action comes from deciding to change the situation. And that might mean having to actually phone someone to pull you out. Or occasionally it means the decision you have to make and the action you have to make is to change yourself. That is often the harder decision you need to make and that is often the decision you need to make to get unstuck. I hope that helps. We'll talk to you soon.